laser beam. Prepare for flight. Course heading northeast. Hello everybody and thank you very much for your time today and today I'm coming to you from Columbia, South Carolina. Yes! Alright guys, we are at the Richland Mall and we are taking flight today for the first time on this channel. So, number one, this was day one of ever flying a drone. So, please do not beat me up in the comments. Obviously, if you want to give me some constructive criticism, I definitely appreciate it. But I definitely have made some nice friends here on the channel, and I want to keep it that way. So even though the drone work might be kind of lousy today, you know what? Just come on along for the flight, and let's see what we see. All right, next up, I also want to give a big, big shout out to some of the YouTube channels and creators that have been here before me. Now, I've been coming to Columbia since we've moved down to Charleston. We have a lot of sports activities and some other activities that happen in Columbia very often. So this was a really great opportunity to see the initial stages of demolition. Now, I will be back with the drone, so definitely stay tuned and subscribe. But let's give some shout outs to the great creators like Sal. Guys, if you don't know Sal, obviously go ahead and search him right now and check out his videos. The absolute master storyteller of the Dead Mall scene. Got to give a shout out to Anthony from Aces Adventures. Definitely one of the pros here in the Dead Mall scene. They both did few videos. I think Ace might have been here two times, and I know Sal did a epic, epic video. I think maybe he also has two videos. I don't have exact numbers in front of me. Also want to give a shout out to Raw and Real Retail. They have been here. It's been one of my favorite videos when they did a walkthrough here. Also, somebody that hasn't been that active recently on YouTube, Retail Apocalypse, also has a great video for this mall. And then finally, someone else that hasn't been that active over the last few years, Retail World. So so again, Sal, Aces Adventures, Raw and Real Retail, Retail Apocalypse, and Retail World. Check out their channels. I think you will be very impressed. And guys, look, we finally made it over to the area that has been demolished so far. So I believe this is the Parisian part of the mall. And please correct me in the comments if I am wrong. I didn't know the exact layout of this mall. I'd never been to the mall when it was fully open. I've only been here when uh, Barnes & Noble and Belk were open. Now, we are not going to get too, too low on this video because, again, this was the first day of drone flight. And I actually think that I have gotten a lot better since this unfortunate video. But I wanted to bring you this update. I wanted to get it posted because I know that there's been a lot of talk about all of the malls that are being closed as we speak and also demolished. And I definitely wanted to put this on film and get it out to everybody. And certainly, please share. Uh, if you'd like any specific shots also in in an upcoming video, please let me know. I will be more than happy, if I can, to get those shots for you. Maybe if you are doing a film yourself and or if there's something specific that you would like to see here on the property for Richland Mall. Now, where the demolition is happening, this was the access point for most of the construction workers and construction machines, so there really was not a way to park over on that end of the mall. I had to park over near the Barnes & Noble location or side of the mall and then go ahead over top of the mall and fly. So one of the great things about having the drone, obviously you get some different shots, but I really, truly appreciated and got to understand how big this mall was. This mall is a very weird setup. It's in a very tight area in an intersection here in Columbia. But as you see, and as most of you know in the dead mall scene, the parking lot was not only a parking deck, but it was also the entire roof of the mall. So pretty amazing stuff that basically you were parking on top of your store. Now I know there's lots of malls like that all over the world, but it was really cool to finally see what I had been walking through before because I had been on the parking deck, I had been on the parking areas above the stores, but I'd never been in the actual 
mall. So as we spin back around here and take a look, just find it really fascinating as to how fast they have demolished Parisian. And by the way, I think this uh, is only about two weeks into demolition at this point. There you see off to the left, the full parking deck. And that parking deck has about uh, four layers to it or four levels to it, I should say. And then off to the right side underneath that green walkway, there's also an area that was a Verizon call center. So there was a lot going on at this mall, not just retail. Detail. You also had that call center. Also want to give another big shout out to Crazy Adventures and Reviews because he actually was probably one of the last few people to get into the mall and he was able to get into that Verizon call center area. Now I do not suggest this by the way. It is not safe to enter this property. Also it would certainly be considered trespassing so the owners of the property could certainly press charges if they wanted to if they catch you on the property. So please don't do that guys. Let's be safe and also let's make sure that we're not having uh, EMS workers or the police have to come and catch you on the property because you're also putting their lives at risk. So there is the back parking lot. Now that was accessible for retail, but I believe that mainly was where a lot of the Verizon folks would park. And looks like, looks like there's a nice few houses back there also. Must have been nice to be able to actually be right next to this mall and just, you know, maybe as a teenager walk to the mall and hang out. So as we start to move to the right here, that is the tower that I believe Crazy got into. And then he got into all of that domed area there that looks like a big... Um, atrium and so or solarium i should say with all those skylights and that is where the verizon center was now as we continue on here there was a, an actual area under all of this where you could drive on the lower level and it was kind of dingy under there i'd driven through a few times when i've gotten previous videos at this property and then all of the entry points that you see with all of the uh, black glass they are in all very bad condition people had broken the glass had done a lot of vandalism so it really sucks to see that folks just couldn't let this mall be they had to go in they had to do some lousy things uh, but security was on site here I definitely will say that uh, not only on this visit security but also in previous visits uh, I did have security come up to me and just ask me what I'm doing you know they weren't rude they were very nice uh, in fact one of the guys who was actually the day that the mall had gotten sold the property had gotten sold most recently and a really nice guy I talked to them for about 15 minutes uh, so nice people you know that were here at this mall but uh you know, it is so cool to see this perspective. So there you see in the middle, you see the top of the Barnes and Noble, and then just underneath us, I think that was a seafood restaurant at some point, and then you see what would have been the true entrance to the mall. Uh, so the entrance really was just a wall. I thought there was actually something more behind that. I never really noticed when I was on the parking deck that I was literally just behind the front facade of the mall itself. So very, very cool here. We're gonna go ahead and continue. We've got, let's see, we've got about five more minutes that we're gonna be flying around here. So I'm gonna spin around, I believe. Now this is only the second time that I've watched this video. So my apologies for not knowing all of the moves that I made here, but I wanted this to really be as raw and uncut as possible. So we're kind of checking this out together. Uh, so I viewed on my screen for my um, drone and then also I had only viewed this once here on the big screen in my office. So very, very cool. And also uh, one of the things that I didn't point out when I was talking a little bit earlier, the Belk part of the mall, it looked like there had already been vent holes that were cut out, uh, either that or if there were skylights on the top of the Belk store, but it looked like there were rectangular vent holes, possibly uh, for a lot of the black mold and other nasty conditions that might be in this mall. And it looks like things were being possibly taken out, maybe by a bobcat out of another big hole that was in the front of the uh, Belk on top. And as we see here, as we start to zoom down a little bit again seafood place i believe to the left you then also guys what what was the department store that was to the left left there uh, i don't think it was a macy's but please let me know and then was there ever a sign 
on the front of this mall right there on that facade. Did it ever say Richland Fashion Mall uh, or did it ever say Richland Mall? Definitely let me know because this mall, I believe, uh, based upon the videos that I've seen from Sal and uh, Ace, I believe this mall kind of had two phases where it was maybe remodeled at one point. And my apologies, I totally forget here as I'm going through and narrating. But uh, also, all the doors are open. Again, please do not go onto this property, guys. Uh, you are going to get caught because there really no, is nowhere to get away from this property. The, the police here in Columbia and or the Richland County Sheriff will definitely get you if you are on this property. This is not an easy place because of the intersections that are around this mall. You cannot just run off into the woods. That's not happening. So uh, please do not enter. But uh, as you see here, the main entrance got the drone as close as I could. I didn't want to go a little bit too much more with the overhang there. And there you see a lot of the woodwork that's gotten rotten away. And hey, we got concrete bench there. We have the trash and then I'm not sure what they were ripping apart right there. It literally looks like maybe they went in with the Bobcat and just went ahead and shredded that wall a little bit. Hey, who are those people over there? What's going on with those guys? <laughs> and then across the street, you see a really nice Moe's actually. So good place to eat. If you don't like Moe's too bad, I like Moe's. Welcome to Moe's. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna go back up here. We're gonna elevate. And we've got a few minutes left on the video here, guys. So again, final call out. Uh, I'll be back here to film different phases of, yeah, I guess the sign was right there in the middle of the tile. Let me know, guys, what was actually there? Did it say Richland Mall? Nice zoom back there. Oh, look at all that cinematic work. You, you'd never guess that this was my first day with a drone. <laughs> so, yeah, what was the department store over there, guys? Let me know. Definitely curious. Maybe that was Dillard's. Usually with Brown, I believe it's Dillard's. And the Barnes and Noble was also really nice and it was cool that it had hung on here for uh, way past when the mall had closed and also Belk had hung on to the uh, very end. We're gonna come back down here. Oh, we're gonna go up, let's see. <laughs> this will tell you that I did not watch this video before. So, oh, there's one of the dogs barking if you hear them cool shot there. I had no idea you know, basically what I was standing on and the angle of the view and all the stuff that was there when I used to be on top walking around doing some uh, filming. I believe it was last year was my uh, last time up on that parking deck. Come down, nice little shot here. There we go. All right, I think this might be the final call here. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think we are going to uh, set down Laserbeak and uh, allow Laserbeak to recharge for the next flight in an upcoming video. Also guys, uh, final moments here. Please, please, please subscribe. I have an abandoned outlet mall for you coming up, so stay tuned and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. Return! <laughs>